Hi, we're back and we're gonna do another recipe today. It's another salad recipe. And I'm gonna kind of follow the directions. We'll see. Anyway, this is called, a, uh, let me look, a broccoli apple salad. So the first ingredient would be broccoli. The recipe calls for four cups or approximately two heads of broccoli florets. So I just used two heads of broccoli florets and I put them in the colander and rinse them off. And then the next recipe, or the next ingredient in the recipe, is a half a cup of shredded carrot. I'm actually really using a half a cup too. Surprise, surprise. Oh look, there's more. And then the next ingredient is a, a quarter of a cup of diced red onion. Edie and I like onion. So this may be just a tad more than a quarter of a cup. What do you think, Edie? Good? Looks good to me. Okay. Um, then two large apples chopped. This is already looking yummy. Then, oh, I'll be right back. I forgot to get a couple of things. Okay, I just needed to get a measuring cup. The recipe actually calls for a half of a cup of chopped pecans. Our half cup measuring cup is dirty, so I got a two thirds of a cup. Whoops. And there you go. Whatever. I also missed for that. Yep. And a half of a cup of cranberries. Um, the thing with cranberries is they, they do have a little bit of sugar in them. So you can use them or not if you have issues with sugars. Um, but we're going to put them in. Then, the recipe doesn't call for this, but this is what Edie and I eat for our lunch. So, this is two servings of, of grilled chicken from my son, Paul. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different with the dressing. The dressing in the recipe calls for yogurt and mayonnaise. And we don't use mayonnaise, so... I'm just going to do it kind of our way, but I'm changing up a, one little thing in it. So I'm, I've mashed up the avocado, put in the dollop of, of yogurt, the squirt of mustard, and the recipe actually calls for sugar. In the, in the dressing. I don't want to use sugar. I'm going to use a little bit of raw organic honey. Make it kind of a honey mustard type dressing. And the recipe does call for a little bit of salt, probably not that much, and some pepper. Okay. Put that all on there. And then just stir it up. It already looks yummy. Mm -hmm. This doesn't want to stir it. Maybe I need to use another spoon to stir it.
All right. I'm going to divide this up on two plates, and we'll be back to show you the final picture of what they look like. And this is the finished product right here. The thing that they look yummy, they're kind of big, but it's, it's just a serving. It's a lot of vegetables, a serving of fruit. There are some nuts and, and cranberries, so there's probably more than one serving of fruit, but that's okay. Um, it looks yummy, but the thing I wanted to say is that I wish I would have remembered these when I was making the salad. These are freeze-dried cranberries, and I bet they would have been really good in this salad and added a little bit of crunch to it, but I didn't. So next time I make it, I'm going to use the freeze-dried cranberries and see how that goes. Anyway, that's our lunch for the day, our recipe for the day. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with another time.